Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the HD 300 and the HD 500 from Prompter People. Be seen, heard, and better understood through virtual gatherings. Elevate your message with corporate streams. These tripods are really great. Um, I've spent a little bit of time with them this week, just kind of looking at them, playing with them in a church environment, and also I do videography for corporate companies. So this is a great tool that it kind of fits a good spot. It's in between the prosumer equipment like a Manfrotto or a Binro, and also kind of competes with those higher end Vinton or O'Connor heads. Uh, so they kind of split the difference between those two. I'm pretty happy with them so far. So let me tell you a little bit about what I liked and didn't like. These tripods were definitely very similar with a 300 having a few extra features, which kind of makes it interesting because it's the cheaper one of the two. Now, the main difference that I see between these two tripods is its payload. So the HD 300 has a payload of 30 pounds and the HD 500 has a payload of 50 pounds. Both of these tripods are really solid and I went ahead and purchased the wheels for these tripods as well. That way we can kind of have an equal footing between these two tripods. Another thing to note about these heads, the 300 only comes with a single arm bar, whereas the 500 comes with two arms. So if you want, you can buy an additional arm for $40. What's nice about these arms is you could extend them and actually change your pivot point a little bit further away from the base of the head. What that does is allows you to have a better angle. Essentially, it's basic geometry, right? So the further away your pivot point is, from the camera, essentially, the smoother your shot's gonna be, the easier it is, it's gonna be to uh, manipulate those small movements, especially when you're at the long end of your lens, when you have the camera all the way zoomed into a subject, or if you're in the back of a conference hall or a bigger room, having that extra support as you're moving the camera is very, very important and very helpful. Now, these are both fluid heads, and in the article, I kind of go in deeper about different types of heads. Just know for video, the fluid head is the main one that you want to focus on, the main one that you need if you're going to do any sort of video work. So the wheels are weighted for 100 pounds, so between the 17-pound tripod and your payload of 30 pounds or 50 pounds, you won't outweigh the wheels before you outweigh the head. So just keep that in mind. Your tripod system, you want to make sure that you know what the uh, maximum amount of weight each component has in your system. That way you don't overload your tripod. Tripods are expensive and I know they aren't the same as a camera. It's interesting how quickly cameras iterate and you have a new model, uh, a new type, a new resolution, a new bit depth. There's all these things that happen within the world of cameras that they tend to get the attention most of the time. The thing is, a tripod is your foundation. It's the fundamental building block that your camera sits on. That's the, really the support system for that. And in a live environment, which is what I do most of the time, having a solid tripod is crucial for a solid production. So I was doing a little bit of research and I found Prompter People. I found that they had these two tripods that didn't have a lot of attention yet. I am super excited to kind of review these two tripods to talk more about them and to see if they're a good fit for you because they definitely were a good fit for me and what I do. I'd like to know that this video is not sponsored. Prompter People is not paying me to say uh, what my thoughts are. They're not critiquing or editing and saying, don't put that in the video. These are all my original thoughts and feelings towards these tripods. I am paying for these tripods, even though it is at a slight discount for this review, but I'm gonna be paying out of my own money for four of these HD 500s, and three of these HD 300s are gonna be purchased by my church. So the HD 300 is what I would classify as light duty pro. I know that sounds kind of strange for a tripod that can support up to 30 pounds, but when you've used Vincent 30s or larger O'Connor heads, camera heads that are built for filmmaking or for larger uh, rigs, it really shows you that there is a lot of lineup left. So I know it's very common for tripod manufacturers to put heavy duty on all their equipment. And yes, this is what a lot of people will see as a heavy duty system. Uh, but in the scope of the other high end gear, this is kind of in a sweet spot in the middle. I really enjoy this tripod. Um, it's actually really hard to tell the difference between the 300 and the 500 just by first view, first glance. It was buttery smooth, it was really solid. And if you don't have a payload that exceeds that 30 pound limit, if you don't ever expect to have a full teleprompter system, a full camera rig that has a heavy lens and a heavy system that exceeds that 30 pound limit, I think this, this tripod is a really good fit for most live events and live production settings. However, if you know that 
you're going to be exceeding that 30 pound limit. You might consider the, the 500 series and there are some great things that I saw about that. One of the other things that differentiated these two was the drag system for the 500. And so this one has a little bit more features. As far as drag settings go, you can kind of fine tune those a little bit closer. Now, neither one of these cameras have a true counterbalance system which basically allows the camera to be tilted down or up and stay in that position. But honestly, for this price point, it has a lot of really great features. I'll also point out that both tripod legs, even though they have a different label, are the exact same from what I could tell. And one of the other things that stood out to me that was different from my Manfrotto's and my Vincent tripods is the, the toes or the feet. This system has a foot that basically will move back and forth and actually became a little bit of a frustration for me. If there's a weakness to this tripod, that would be it, is getting the shoe on the foot, so to speak, and getting that all set up on the wheels. Once you've got that in place and you've got that set up, then you're good to go. But that is my biggest complaint so far. So who are these tripods aimed at? Well, obviously, if you buy teleprompters, if you're in that market and you already have those for your school, for your church, for whatever events you're covering and doing, these would be a good fit for those setups. However, for what I'm doing, probably 90% of the time I don't have a teleprompter set up. Um, and I'm just using these in conference rooms and auditoriums in bigger lecture halls. And so these tripods are gonna help compared to a smaller head, like a 75 millimeter ball head. These tripods are gonna be smooth enough and big enough for me to put them in the back of the room, zoom in all the way to the speaker and not have any issues with shake. And that's the main thing you want in a tripod. You want something that's rock solid, that's sturdy, that you can zoom in get the shot you need and not have any extra fluff in the way. I think both of these tripods are able to do that. And that's another reason why I didn't fully load these tripods in this review. I've noticed when you have a loaded tripod, it tends to operate smoother than you would a unloaded tripod or a lighter setup. It's kind of like an empty water bottle versus a full water bottle. The empty bottle shakes easier and it's easier to move around. So my recommendation, if you can, stick with the 300. But if you're like me and you need that extra bit of payload, go ahead and look at the 500s and really compare it to the prices of the other tripod systems that are around there. It's always good to shop and compare and see what's what. Currently, there is a sale going on this summer with you know everything going on in the world and these tripods being brand new. There's some really great introductory prices. So the 300 is set at 399, and then the wheels are another 150. And I would also recommend getting a second arm for this for an extra 40. So this whole system with everything I just described would be just under $600. The 500, you can get a combo with the wheels, two arms, what have you, for 990. So just under $1,000. Both of these tripods will be going up in price. They didn't really d designate when, but eventually the sale's gonna end and these will go back to their normal pricing. But honestly, even at $800 for the 300 and $1,700 for the 500, to hold 50 pounds, you're looking at tripod systems that cost over $4,000. So these are very competitive as far as price goes. So the one thing I can't really comment on is the life expectancy of these tripods. But in my experience, if you treat gear well, it will last you a long time. And so hopefully these tripods will perform that way for me as well. I hope you found this review helpful. Please check out the other links to articles on corporatestreams.com to find out more about how you can maximize your streaming potential. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.